This is the world of Q Sports, reimagined in the form of a Premier League. Held in Bengaluru from 4th to 10th May, the league brought the best Q Sports professional in the country together in the brand new Q Sports Premier League. It's, it's uh, in a, a very unique concept and obviously the whole idea was to organize a championship that brings everyone together. Whether you're a club player, you're a state level player or a national player. Uh, obviously we want to see high quality games but we had to also compromise on that because we want a little more drama and snooker. We want everybody to be involved with their respective teams and support them. Six months ago, probably in the month of November, me and Pankaj were just sitting down having a chat and like what to do now. Like we have to somehow try and promote the sport. The sport is definitely growing and uh, with the inclusion of snooker and billiards again in the Asian Games 2030, I really see the sport uh, gaining traction in India. So you wanted to find a way to promote the sport, bring it to the masses. There are already masses. Uh, as per some statistics, in India itself there are 10 million players. There are 10 million players playing the sport on uh, a recreational basis. It's just that they don't see the necessity or they don't see that end goal where they can reach by playing the sport. I'm trying to be the game changer, maybe make the change. Primarily because it involves players who are not at the top of the national rankings. Uh, they get an opportunity to brush shoulders with the top players of the country. There's so much to learn because you're partnering with the players who have been playing for 15, 18, 20 years. Their experience, you share uh, their wisdom on the game, you get to share. You get an insight into what, how tactical game can be played, how you can make your opponents to make a mistake. I think uh, the sport, any sport doesn't develop if there are just eight players or ten players who are playing well and going and it has to come from the grassroots. India demands uh, formats like this to, to bring more people into the fold and if we don't do it, we're going to get left behind. So the fact is that we've got to do it, but we've got to do it right. I'm sure there will be some tweaks uh, in, you know, in the years following uh, and we'll come up with a very good, uh, even more exciting format. But this is the need of the hour, in, in, not just in India, but in the world. Uh, and I hope that this becomes an international event and brings the top players in the world, the professionals down here, uh, over a period of time in probably a few years' time. And that will then take the status of this event, you know, to, to the global level like the IPL. Two sports in India today is a big niche. Uh, there, there is a lot of apprehensions which comes around the streaming of the event in terms of the magnitude that other sports have compared to us, like cricket or football even now. Football is in a very well, nice way now. So uh, with the help of Metaverse of course and, and the influencer marketing program that we've done now, we have reached close to about 3 million impressions right now. We are aiming to at least get a good 10-20 thousand followers by the end of this league. Uh, following Q Sports on the whole, not just the league but Q Sports on the whole. And I feel that with this edition, we have reached 3 million uh, impressions. We've, we've got more than 500k um, uh, views on every video that we've posted now. Uh, that means that there's so much more, uh, there's, there's a lot there for us uh, to go at. And that gives us that belief that you know we can keep this, keep this league going and replicating this maybe even with international players in the future. Star Zingfai tables which is Stars Zingfai and Asin Lightning tables. Both these tables are uh, World Championship tables which is used in UK, Europe, Asia, across all parts of the world. And uh, India is uh, you know, this is the first facility where we have four Star uh, Zingfai